Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgog is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Welcome to the Arms Head. Any empty seat is yours. Hello, Lord Gok. Serona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am, and I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Serona trusts me, and she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. If I retrieve the relic, how do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Ertgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. 
It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Ugh, oh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Ertgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Alan's beard. Lumos. the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Lumos. 
Lumos. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Lumos. Down I go. No other way. Lumos. Lumos. Yeah. <laughs> 
Lumos. Witch's final resting place. Bulgog said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. A dead Ashwinder. Better show this to Lungok. Hmm, I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Lodcock, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. 
I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, huh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned.